Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. As I keep exploring alternatives to Google services, I'm now looking into which email services can replace the almighty Gmail. I won't be looking at other big company services such as Outlook.com since they have the same weird practices as Google. So let's look at our options. Why quit Gmail? Gmail is a great service. It's free, it has plenty of storage, it has labels, it allows you to archive messages and generally looks pretty good. You can sync it with pretty much any other client you want and it also provides contact sync through Google Contacts. It's ubiquitous, it's easy to get started and it's also using all your data and reading all your emails. And that's the main problem for me. I don't want Google or any other company parsing all my personal communications and selling this data to other advertisers. So let's look at some alternatives. Proton Mail. Proton Mail is starting to be quite famous. It's a solution designed to be as private as possible, where everything is encrypted and no information is shared. Your email account can be created without giving any personal info, and it is of course open source as well. Proton Mail has a free tier, limited to 500 megabytes of storage and 150 emails per day, which is more than enough for my needs. More demanding users can part with about 4 euros a month, upping the storage to 5 gigabytes and 1000 emails per day. This tier also allows you to use your own email domain and create up to 5 email addresses. Another tier is available for hardcore supporters, but it's out of scope for me. Interface wise, Proton Mail looks alright. It doesn't have the clean, nice look of Gmail or Outlook.com, and the colors are not really to my taste, but if you feel like it, you can use custom CSS to style it the way you like. Right off the bat, Proton subscribes you to their newsletter, which is a bummer, but that's nothing a quick trip to the settings can't fix. Proton Mail can import your contacts, but unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sync options with third-party clients. The whole thing being encrypted makes regular email clients unable to read or access anything. You can download the Proton Mail app for your phone, but if you don't like using webmails on the desktop, you're in a tough spot. There's an application called Proton Bridge that allows you to sync your email on a client, but it only works on Thunderbird and is still in beta. This is not a deal breaker for me, but I can't see myself using Thunderbird, which I find clunky and outdated. Proton Mail also does not include a calendar. All in all, Proton Mail is a very secure solution, but it's a bit restrictive due to its fully encrypted nature. NetC. NetC, or NetCourier, is a European mail provider. They not only provide an email service, but also some storage space, 500 megabytes by default, an address book, calendar, and photo storage service. Creating an account is free and lets you pick the domain name between a bunch of different propositions. Account creation asks for a few more information than I'd like, including your name and birth date, and asks you to accept some conditions which I actually read. The TLDR is that free accounts are subjected to ads through third-party cookies, including targeted ads, and premium accounts are not. NetC won't read your emails though, to offer ads specifically tailored to what you wrote or received, so that's a plus. Looks-wise, NetC isn't that great, with a huge header and boxy design, but it's clear enough and can be customized with different colors and sizes. If you don't like the webmail though, you can sync email with any IMAP-capable client, as well as the calendar with CardDAV and ICS, and the address book with CardDAV. NetC also supports Exchange Active Sync if you're into that sort of thing. Even the storage space can be accessed remotely through FTP or WebDAV. This is great, since it means that your NetC email, contacts and calendar can be synced with any client you'd like to use, thus escaping the ads present in the webmail. If you'd prefer a paid option, NetC offers a premium package for 12 euros a year. This includes 20 gigabytes of email storage, 5 gigabytes of cloud storage, the removal of ads, as well as the access to the POP3 protocol for mail syncing. If you want more cloud storage, you can also buy a cloud pack, but prices are pretty high, with 500 gigabytes costing 40 euros per month, so I'd recommend finding another solution. That's not enough options for you, you also get with each account access to reminders, tasks, a photo library that you can sync with FTP or WebDAV, and a notes application. NetC is a very interesting and complete solution that I will keep on my shortlist. Its prices are minimal if you just want more email storage, and the fact that it's based in the EU means that they will comply with some of the most strict data protection laws out there. Zoho Mail 
Zoho is a big company, providing services ranging from email to a full-blown CRM to online document editing, project management, and many, many more. Zoho Mail is a full-featured solution, integrating a mailbox, contacts, calendar, tasks, and notes. Zoho guarantees privacy and does not use or collect your data outside of what it needs to actually provide you with the email account. Interface-wise, Zoho looks more modern than the other services I tried before, even though it still looks heavier and less elegant than Gmail. You can tweak the look and feel, choosing from a few different themes. The free personal account includes your at zoho.com email address, as well as no ads, two-factor authentication, IMAP and POP sync for email, and CALDAF sync for calendar. Zoho is a highly configurable service with a ton of preference and options. Free tier users get 5GB of mail storage, but you can upgrade with prices ranging from $3 a month for 30GB to $6 a month for 100GB. Both these tiers include access to a ton more Zoho services, and even though they seem more targeted towards small businesses, the prices are pretty reasonable even for an individual user. There are other email providers out there, but these are the ones that stuck with me. For more privacy-focused users, ProtonMail seems like the obvious choice. It has its limits, such as syncing with other clients, but this is the price to pay for full email encryption. For users looking to replace the whole Google application suite, Zoho is the obvious choice, providing a complete set of services. Its mail client is the nicer looking of those I tried, and their free tier might be enough for many users, with the option to go way beyond email if you want to replicate the Google ecosystem with a company that allegedly does not sell your data. Netsea is the one that insists most on privacy and data protection, and is highly synchronizable with any client out there. It provides a complete suite of tools around email, and its premium price is symbolic, at 1 euro per month. The trade-off is that it doesn't look that nice or modern. I now hesitate between Zoho and Netsy. On the one hand, Zoho seems like a full-featured replacement for a lot of other Google services, such as Drive, Docs, Keep, and many more. On the other hand, Netsy seems like a great independent solution, and is more in keeping with the one provider per service approach that I'm looking for. I might try them out for a while and see which one I prefer. What email provider do you use? Do you have any recommendations? Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye!